Okay, day 10, uh, February 9th, 2021. Uh, we're going to be looking at a speaking section um, for the TOEFL. So, uh, day 10, wow. Uh, we only have a few days left to go. Let's see um, who comes in first. Hello, Daniel, how are you? Did you have a good day? Good evening. Good evening. Can you listen to me? Yes, 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 I can hear you. Let me check my, my I, I can hear you. Let me check my, my headphone. Okay. Can you hear me, Daniel? Not 
teacher. Uh, I said only good evening. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good. All right, Daniel, everything's okay with the microphone? Can, yes, can sorry. I have a little wrong, a little problem. No problem, no problem at all. All right. So, how are we advancing on the platform? No, no, I couldn't. I couldn't check any time. Today, I didn't have, I didn't have time. I couldn't Ooh. check anything. A lot of work today. Yes, yes. Last night I was working until 2 a.m. But wow. today, <laughs> today, yes, I go to the bed around 2.30. After that, I couldn't sleep around 3 a.m. So I had to wake up around 6. So that time I start my, my day. A long day, a long day today. A long day, yes, it has been a long day, but it's curious because we are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised because you you must be very tired. You you went to bed late, you worked a lot, you woke up early, you didn't sleep. Yes. <laughs> So it's a yesterday was a hard day and today a little a, a nice day because I have a song what do you say good news good news uh, we we uh, 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 we achieve no como dice alcance alcanzamos like things Reach, search, reach, reach, a good goals. Oh, that's great. We had a good month. The last month was a, a good month. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. That's, that's good. A lot of hard work, but if you reach the goals, that's that's important. Reach the goal, yes. Mm -hmm. That's important. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of work, huh? Yes, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Irenia, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Nice to see you again. I'm all right. Thank you for asking. Good, good to see you. Okay. Well, as you know, we are continuing on Unit 3. Um, but before we begin, just to remind you, um, you should have received an email to start the registration for the next course. Uh, that way you start the paperwork and, you know, send to human resource or whatever you need to do. Um, I don't know if anybody, if everybody received the email. I did. Yes, Irene, yes. Daniel, okay, also, all right. Irene? Yes, but I, I couldn't fill the, the form yet. <laughs> Me too, thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Yeah, the important is that you have the form and that, that way you begin the process little by little. It's a little complicated because you have to repeat the, the same information the, in the link. After that, you have to write the same information on the a lot of form. So you have to send them in an email. So I, I don't know what, what is the same information you have to, and to you can't refill. Copy and you can't use the same information from the last time. It's not possible to save it, it, the file and then send later. No, they, they re you go ahead, go ahead. I think, so you have to change the, the date and the name of the module, I think. That's it. So, ah, okay, so I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't, I'm not sure, I really. <laughs> Yes, you can use the same, only change the date and the name of the module and print the paper again yeah. in Skype. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's why I was thinking that. So yeah. I, 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 <laughs> you are using a lot I, of time I, to I print read, and print uh, the same. But imagine, Irenia. Yes. You tell Daniel, 
in the last course. The next course is the last course. And now he learned. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in the in the courses before, we didn't do that because our bosses were the ones who did this paperwork. Uh, yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But some somebody told us in the WhatsApp group that we they don't accept the same form, but the last form because I I, I don't remember what's uh, I after I, I feel after. <laughs> okay, okay. But, yeah, and, and and maybe it's like Irenia says the only is the date and the the, the module you change the course name the and model and that's it. Okay, okay, okay. The other information where you work, what you do, all of the other information is the same. So it is the same, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I followed your advice, Irenia. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, maybe you thank you. That way you save time. And it's a lot of paperwork. A lot. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's a good trick, Irenia. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a good trip. Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> I I apply the the I don't know how to say dicho. Saying. Uh, how do you say dicho? Saying. The what? The saying. 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 Uh, the the saying that is work smarter, no harder, or, or something yeah. like that. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> I didn't get, how is that? It's a saying that says work smarter, not harder or, or something like that. Smarter uh, than okay. <laughs> That's true. That's it, that's yeah. it. All right, well, we are continuing our activities for this the idea for the speaking section. Um, as you know, the speaking is really, it's an integrated aspect, which means that it's not only you speak, no, you need to read, you need to listen, and then you have to give your response. This sometimes makes it more difficult because you think, oh, I only speak any topic, but no, you have to speak specifically about the topic that they give you. Yesterday we began, um, looking at integrated questions, numbers three and five. Uh, this is part of the speaking section three, okay? And we did number one and we did number two. Today we're gonna continue, we have the idea and you're going to continue with your partners, okay? So we can see here, this is where you're going to be at the, the workshop. So the important is for you and your partners to get used to doing these activities because it's important that you realize you only have a few seconds to do it. You have, remember the idea for questions three and five, okay? You have 30 seconds to prepare the first question, okay? And, and this is, then you have to 60 seconds where you can speak. So kind of like it tells you there. You have 30 seconds to prepare, and then you have 60 seconds to speak. Now, this is not 30 seconds for the reading, each the reading you will have a specific time. They will tell you 45 seconds. The listening is exactly whatever the listening is. You will not have the opportunity to listen two times. And then you will have a question or an activity that you need to do, okay? So usually the idea is you have to summarize. That's why it's important that you take notes or you memorize what they said. That's one. The tip is you need to summarize. Second, you need to explain what are the options that they give, okay? So one, what are they talking about? What is the topic? The second tip is what are the different solutions or options that they give? And number three, you explain which one for you is the best option or the best choice and why. When you explain why, you need to give reason. You need to give examples or things like that. Now, it does not matter what your opinion is. It's your opinion. They are not grading your opinion. They are grading your speaking. So if you don't know, I, I, I don't know, I don't care. It, 
that is not correct. It doesn't matter if you care or you don't care. Only you need to give an answer, okay? And try to avoid pausing or having too much time between one answer or one word and the other words, okay? That's part of the rhythm, the part of the intonation and making sure that you're always continuing to speak. Are there any questions for this section? No? No. Okay. Now, here you have, we have several of them. So you and your partners are going to do several of them together, okay? How are you going to do them? Well, we're gonna help each other out. So as an example, uh, I'm going to be with my partner, okay? And I and my partner, we're going to do these <clears throat> together. We're gonna be able to read, we're gonna listen together. And then the two of us share our opinion. The important is that my partner measures my time. My partner has a watch or on the computer or in the cell phone, has some form to put, okay? To put the time so that they, you can measure 60 seconds. The idea is you don't want less than 50 seconds and you don't want more than 60. So. If your answer is 30 seconds, mm, it's not enough. You need to practice speaking more. If your answer is 40 seconds, mm, it's close, but you need a little bit more time. If your answer is 50, good. That's a good time. It, you should try to put between 55 and 60, but 50 is a good place to be. That's, that is enough for them to evaluate your answer, evaluate your intonation, your fluency, your grammar, different structures, okay? So we have several questions that we're going to do here in the first session and the same. If you and your partners are able to complete that task, integrated questions three and five, remember we also have the ideas for questions four and six, which is also the speaking. The same idea. You read something and then you have to speak about it. Okay. So you read, you listen. Now, if you remember the difference between Questions three and five and questions four and six is the topic. Questions three and five are about the university, campus life, student life. Questions four and six are academic. They are usually about uh, a class, uh, sociology, science, biology, some kind of academic evaluation. Now, you don't have to be an expert in it but you do have to understand what they are saying. That way you can paraphrase and explain what they said. Are there any questions what we're going to do with our partners? No, okay. I see everybody's pretty much, we're ready, we're getting, we, a little nervous because now we say, oh my God, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of questions, but we can do it. Don't worry. That's why we practice in class. That way, when you have the exam, you have a better understanding. You understand, you feel more comfortable because you already practice. So in the class, if you need to listen two times, okay. Try not to, but if you need to, well, you need to at the moment. But the important is try to do similar to the way that you're going to have in the exam, okay? All right, let's try with our partners then. Pretty good. What about you? Hey, I'm all right. I'm all right. Thank you. Uh, if you want, I can share my screen with you. Okay, please. Okay, let me see. Okay, tell me when you see it. I'm not yet. Yes, uh, uh, now I can see it. Okay, so let's start with this one. We have 45 seconds to read this paragraph. I don't know if you want to, to read this first. 
Uh, I think the one and two they did yesterday. Ah, you, have you already to continue did this one. with the number three. Uh -huh, yesterday ah, okay. they. I wasn't in the class yesterday. Yes, I I saw the record. Ah, okay, this one. It's okay. You can practice one and two because the two of you didn't do it, and oh. that's good. If oh, you okay. didn't do the ideas to practice, it's okay. Oh, okay. Okay, if you want, we can practice with the number one. Sorry, Cecilia, do you understand everything? Do you understand what's happening? Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, if you want, I can read the, the number one. Type. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> All right. Uh, um, yes, I think so. Is that the main expression? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yesterday, uh, we checked the, the last, this, this. Mm -hmm. um, today is, is this. As In the, the word uh, two for, for this. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. We did that. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, so then I have a question. Is the question five or four? Hey, you, we are in this question right there as the, that one, the medical faculty. Okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we... You are going to read it, then you are going to listen, and then you have to answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can read um, right now. We start right now. <laughs> read and listen and next answer. Okay, then we listen, Danny. Okay, ready. Ready to go. Listen to two students as they discuss the announcement. Hey Sue, wanna go for a coffee? No thanks. I'm going to the talk about restless leg syndrome. Why don't you join me? Never heard of it. So what's your interest? Well, my mom suffered from it since she was a teenager. At that time, it was diagnosed as growing pains, later as a strained muscle. And then when she began teaching, she was told it was because she was on her feet all day. After she was told it was all in her head, she quit asking and just went on suffering. That sounds awful. So, uh, why were the doctors so wrong? Well, she's always described the pain as thousands of microscopic creatures eating away her calf muscles. That's weird. So how did she finally find out what it was? Oh, a cousin mentioned in passing the medicine that she was taking for restless leg syndrome and went on to describe what mom had been suffering for over 30 years. Wow. Yeah. She's on medication now, but I want to know more about it. It runs in families. So you might get it. Maybe, but I haven't had any problems yet. OK. 
Okay, in my case, Daniel, I will I will give that my my answer. Okay, for some person, when the illness attacks your health, you need a diagnosis diagnosis because uh, the different illness need to have a solution but for some person the illness may be a genetic cause for the other person may be descri describing the the problem normally is caused for the pain only that okay I will try. Um, maybe he's invited her to drink a cup of coffee, but she's interested in a conference in the healthcare because uh, somebody uh, he will be talking about the uh, leg syndrome. So uh, she's very interested. In, interested because her mom is suffering uh, with that uh, syndrome and uh, her mom, even though he she has a uh, medication um, uh, is very hard because uh, since uh, he she was younger he has been suffering about that and that illnesses just that too <laughs> something like that Irene. okay thank you you know i consider that uh, they can well and in order to for the student i consider they can demolish the old one and can use for the for building a music art music theater and so on because it could be close to them and, and also has a, they mentioned that they can have a, a green energy in order to use it. Okay, that's it. Okay. Good, you, you spoke for one minute and 17 seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's nice. Cecilia, do you want to try it? Uh, let me see. Uh, I, um, uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, um, no, todavía no. Um, <laughs> how do you say? Todavía no. <laughs> Le, I, uh, ready? I don't ready. <laughs> I don't ready. And you, uh, Erenia, I hear you. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I think that the opinion of the boy is against the demolition of the building because he wanted the building to be preserved. And one of the reasons that he gives is because of the time the building has. He mentioned that the building has an historical value. And instead of using that building to build the different rooms that they want, for example, the art room and the, the other ones they mentioned, he proposed to use another building, but it's a little bit far, 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 farthest, farthest. I don't know how to use the, the superlative in this word. But the, the idea is that he proposes to use another building instead of this one that is a, a antique. So the, the main idea is that they have to support the, the protest that they are planning for defending the building. So I think that's the main reason. And just that. Now, I forgot to set the, the, the watch. 
Why did mm -hmm. I... One minute and 10 seconds. Oh, okay. Took... Now, Cecilia, I don't know if you are ready. Okay, I try. <laughs> okay. Uh, to explain the, the, uh, the building is very important because it's the, uh, the building has new value, uh, value for the, for the city. Um, uh, the man expressed his opinion about the, the, the building. Uh, because the building is very important for for this for this city um, and has a different uh, propose for the 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 pro, how do you say propuesta pro, proposal for the the value of the building that's Okay. okay. Nice. You for fifty-two seconds. Fifty. <laughs> okay. But that's, that's a good time. That's a good time. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. We can try with the number two. Let me see. The medical faculty has announced that a guest speaker will be giving a talk. With the announcement about the talk, you have 45 seconds to read the announcement. Okay. Who wants to read this one? Cecilia or Jose, do you want to read or do you want me to read? I read. Yes, I read. Um, okay. Uh, as part of the Edivor Toward Health workshop sponsored by the medical faculty, uh, Dr. Jane Filbert from the Monterey Health Organization will be presenting a lecture teacher living with restless leg syndrome at, at 2 p.m. in the campus auditorium. This illness is frequently diagnosed because of the, uh, the difficulties sufferers have describing their pain. The fact that it tends to be found within families indicate and the underlying generic, generic cause. Dr. Philbert will be discussing the symptoms of restless leg syndrome, syndrome and ways to alleviate the pain. The public is invited to attend. Okay. Let me see. The instruction now says listen to two students as they discuss the announcement. I'm going to play this audio. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Now listen to two students as they discuss. It's okay. Have you signed up for the GRP? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. I will try again. Okay. Are you test yet? Yeah, have to if I want to get into graduate school. You sound upset. I am. I don't understand why we've got to take that test. I mean, the university can tell whether we're up to graduate work by looking at our grade point average and letters of recommendation. You're just suffering from test anxiety. Yeah, I am. Don't you know those tests are gender biased? Did you know that the average mean scores for women are about 60 points lower than men on standardized tests? 
whereas women's grade point averages are higher. Really? No, I didn't know that. So, uh, what's the deal? Well, test anxiety may count. Women tend to suffer anxiety levels that negatively affect their scores. You know, there was a study not long ago in which a control group and an experimental group No. The women in the experimental group scored even lower than the women in the control group. And they think the women in the experimental group were more anxious? Well, that's probably a part of it, but other studies show that men and women approach the tasks differently. So, what do we, us guys, do differently? Uh, for one thing, you guys take risks. We're more cautious and try to analyze the items and check our answers. So we work slower. And that's a disadvantage on a timed test. I can see that. What else? Men seem to enjoy trick questions, whereas women find them distracting. Well, I guess I can understand your feelings, but don't you think a university takes these differences into account? I'd hope so. You know, it isn't just women. But ethnic groups and even non-native English speakers have been shown to do better on open-ended tasks like essay tests. Okay. You begin, Daniel, or you? Oh, or me, sorry. <laughs> or me. Go ahead, because I couldn't start very well. Okay. This, if, if I, you... I, I, I hear a little rare. Okay. If you are agree, uh, this information is complement to the audio, but... but Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The student discusses the problem with the standard single test and describes concerns. Then state what the single test is. Preparation, 20 seconds. Okay. Okay. In my opinion, Daniel, the student discuss with a with a man about the standardized testing because she said about women and, and, and men are different the level of approach about the concert or the study because the, the people are different. Uh, in the level of approach. Uh, other thing that she said is about some people is higher the levels in relation with the other people. Uh, for for she, it's necessary uh, a different test because each people is different about other people. Uh, however, it's a same topic, right? Only that. Okay. <clears throat> they are speaking about the difference with the standardized, standardized testing. I hear that uh, when maybe the teacher are checking uh, the answer on the test, for example, uh, they have a, a trick questions on the medicine, medicine area when the women are uh, very concerned that they are talking about uh, the same subject, it may be the, the men uh, have the uh, answer, the same question, maybe uh, the teacher uh, are harder to, um, how do you say, um, qualificar to to the same answer so uh, that is the reason why the woman is telling us that the exists the difference to <laughs> okay 
Okay. Yes, that. All right, Irene and Daniel. Okay, you did hey. pretty Hello. good, but you you didn't answer the question. You only did the first part. You only did the part where it says describe the woman's concerns, and but you did not put then state what you think of the woman's concerns and explain why. So you did the discussion of the problem with the standardized testing. You explain why the woman was uh, bothered by it, but you did not explain what do you think about it? What do you think she is right? Do you think she is wrong? And why do you think she's right or wrong? Okay. Yeah. And remember Daniel, yeah. if you don't know the word, it, you lose a lot of points in the exam if you use Spanish. You have to use others. For example, you don't remember the name, uh, the grade, <laughs> the evaluations, or, or but whatever. But you you can't use Spanish. But the the others are okay. <laughs> okay, okay, yes, Helen. But that's why we practice, right? That the, the idea is that's why we practice to become better and, and more proficient. So good. Only remember that read the complete question so you make sure you answer everything. That way, you, that's why you use your 20 seconds to make sure you make a list. I need to explain this, 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 and this. That way, you when you speak, you can have it. Okay. Okay. okay All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Daniel. Uh, continue. Uh, I will, in my opinion, uh, the position with the uh, leg. So we work slower, and that's a disadvantage on a timed test. I can see that. What else? Men seem to enjoy trick questions, whereas women find them distracting. Well, I guess I can understand your feelings, but don't you think a university takes these differences into account? I'd hope so. You know, it isn't just women, but ethnic groups and even non-native English speakers have been shown to do better on open-ended tasks like essay tests. Okay, could you hear, guys? Yes. Okay, you, Cecilia. Yes, yes. Okay, so it says the students discuss the problem with standardized testing. Describe the woman's concerns, then state what you think of the woman's concerns and explain why. Who wants to go first? Cecilia Jose? Or me. If you are ready, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> I try. Okay. Okay. Uh, the woman's concerns are the different levels of anxiety that women experiment when they are exposed to standardized tests because the brain of the of a woman is completely different from the brain of a man because one of the things she mentions is that for example that the tricky questions in those tests are a, like agreeable for for men but women don't like that that kind of question so it's something that can affect the results also she mentions that women are more conscious and men like to take more risks so they don't they don't mind a lot about their their answers but women do so they are worried all the time trying to to check their answers and that's why she doesn't like the the standardized test because they don't take in account the specific differences, not only between women and men, but with different uh, people. For example, people that people that don't speak English as a native language, and those are some of, of her concerns. I think she has she has a point 
but I think that's the objective of the standardized test to, to measure how the, the person responds under the same, the same situation as the others. So that's it. I don't know who wants to go, Jose or Cecilia. <clears throat> okay, I agree with you, Arenia, because the 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 woman's concert is very is a different is different and is a lot of a lot of concerts. Uh, the woman. Uh, in this case, the the, the audio um, describe the the different and the describe the woman's concert about the different problem. Uh, is no same in the man and the woman um, because, for example, in the woman. Uh, is very sen sentimental and the main is more practice. Uh, that's it. Okay, thank you, Cecilia. Now let's listen to Jose. Okay, well then. It's about the uh, uh, standardized test. So the, the woman has a point because she, she feel that this kind of test uh, are more approachable for the men. So she started to make uh, a research for, uh, I don't know if it were a, a two or three group, but she, she discovered that the, 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 the woman do it slower, slower than the men. The, the men just, they do it really faster because they, has a, they take more reach than, than, than the woman. So, She's upset that because he think that the man has advantage about that. And also it even can be problematic with uh, different etnias and a non-native non speaker. So they, they think that these kind of tests are, no, uh, are not the best for, for doing in that faculty. That's it. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. I'm, I'm glad you guys answered it, but you have to be careful because you didn't answer the question, the, the, the second part of the question. You answered only the first two sentences. You discussed the problem with the standardized testing and you described the woman's concern, but the last part you didn't answer. State what do you think of the woman's concerns and explain why. This means you need to give is the woman correct or not correct and why? Do you support her opinion or you don't support her opinion and why? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, you. it's good because your speaking time is good. You use all of the time. You you are be you are pacing yourself. You're not going too fast. You're not going too slow. You're you're pronouncing that's good. But you lose points or you would lose points because you didn't complete all of the activities that they ask you to do. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's try with that. People because uh, some people maybe need a professor or a psychologist and you need a test for to applicate uh, for some, some course like them. The people need a, a, a introduce or a training for uh, to help for 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 help for help us need a need a test for discover it the uh, the ma ma major skills and other abilities uh, in in the in the life only that. Wow, <laughs> cool, I have a, a good light. <laughs> okay, uh, I, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Danny. Okay, thank you. Um, 
Yes, they are uh, talking about the psychologist and they are enriched uh, some skill how to write. Uh, maybe they are uh, thinking to take the courses for the next fall or after the summer, but and they are uh, talking about the, is better to take a job or stay at home. But uh, when um, he are studying online, uh, maybe it's not regularly how to go to the school, but uh, she is uh, very surprised because uh, he failed in, in some testing. And the, when he had when he has a, he had an assignment, he was very motivated because and, and they she no he prefer um stay studying at uh, on site the school just that. <clears throat> we have to invent. Okay, so so Daniel. We, so, so. <laughs> yes, because remember there it says describe the problem. Yes, discuss the two solutions to the woman's problem. But it says which of the two solutions do you prefer? Ah, two and solutions. Explain why. Uh -huh. So the other parts are correct, but you need to make sure that you answer completely all of the things. It's not only one question. Is if you see, yes, that what are the solutions? What are the problems and which one do you think is the best one and why? Mm -hmm. Okay, could I say that in, in this case, could I say that the solution is maybe they have to, to reorganize uh, their schedule because they have to, to uh, make time to, to job and to study? Oh, oh, oh. Yes. That's it. It, it remember it for the for, for the person evaluating you, it's not important the what your opinion is. It's only important that you give an opinion and you explain why. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, this model is very hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we practice. That's why we practice. The last, the last, maybe last. Yeah, la yesterday was hard, hard today, yeah. harder. I'm not sure what happened tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow okay. easy. Tomorrow's easy. <laughs> Tomorrow easier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 It's in, very interesting. In my opinion, Daniel, uh, mm -hmm. my my option is when the lady said, if each person is different to approach when need a a course of training. Because uh, some people prefer stay at home and other people prefer online. It depends about uh, of the people. Them. If the people need an um, intensive course, it's, it's, it's better a presential, presential course. But if the people prefer a, a media or a normal course of training, Maybe online is okay. It's option. Uh -huh. Only that. Yes, I think so. Uh, maybe, for example, the real time uh, before the pandemic, maybe some people we are thinking that to work in online very it could be very difficult. But actually, we are hearing, we are working, we are teaching. <laughs> We are learning, and maybe it's the you know the same, but it's a it's a, a solution how we have to handle our lives. Okay, I I I, I don't know if if um, sometimes when you have to select some assign, assignment, assignment, eh, verdad, materia, assignment, yeah. and in some area or different career, the university, maybe you have to, 
to pass or to solve different situations, how to uh, carry your life or to take your life because you have to work, you have to live, <laughs> you have to, to study because you have to learn for the life, for your life. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Okay, congratulations, Irene. <laughs> congratulations too. <laughs> what about you, teacher? <laughs> good, good, good work. That, there you go. That's the idea. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's, it's very interesting, very interesting because uh, I, I think that's a, a good tips how to, to go to learn different things in English. <laughs> But I felt better than last year. The life, the last night, sorry. Last night, yeah. Because mm -hmm. last night, yesterday, I felt very lost. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. But uh, when the last week, the, the next week is the last week. <laughs> yeah, the secret uh -huh. in this topic is practice, practice, and more practice. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I was watching or listening um, some news in English. So yeah. I, I was very happy because I understand some words. <laughs> All vocabulary. No, normally I, I can't understand. My hearing is very bad. But uh, I, I, was, I was thinking, wow, wow. I, I, I understand what she said. No, all of the words, but I understand some words. That's excellent. That's uh -huh. that, and that, that's what you want. Only to improve. Only to improve. Not it's not one hundred percent. It's with time. With time, little by little, but improve and see that you are growing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, teacher uh, yes, I, I have a question. Uh, it's true that uh, you put a new word in your room. Is 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 okay? If you put a new word in the what? In in a paper, in a paper maybe. A mm -hmm. paper in your in your in your room. New words. Yes. It's good. It's good. Uh -huh. we, it's good. Because learn a new word. Yes. The difficulty is to remember the words. But <laughs> 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 uh, will you repeat and repeat? Someday I, I learn. I learn. <laughs> yes. There, there, are, there are many different techniques to use, but the the important is to expose yourself to new vocabulary uh, by reading, by writing it, by saying it, by uh, listening to it. You, the more you have contact with the new word, the easier it is to remember. Ah, okay. Thank you for your advice. You're welcome. We are waiting, teacher. We are waiting for you to call us back to the main session and because we were having problems with the with the connection and Cecilia and Jose cannot hear me well. So oh, we finished oh. the exercise, but right now we are waiting. Okay, let's go back to the main page then. Let's go. Thank you. And can you hear me? Uh, are you having problems with the connection or it's okay? I can hear you. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Well, I think you did, a, in general, we did a good job, but we need to review and practice a couple of things. You are very good with the first half of the exercise. That is paraphrasing explaining, uh, mentioning, you, you are listening correctly for what are the problems or what are the possible solutions. 
The hard part is you need to remember to read all of the text because in some of it, you have to give your opinion, which one, which of the answers is correct. You have to support it. Why? Or you have to choose from the answer that the speaker gave. You have to choose from their answer and say which of those two is the better option. So you have to be careful that you are clear all of the activities that you are being asked because it's not only paraphrase. It's not only explain what are the problems or what are the solutions, but it's also in many situations is which one is the better is A or B and why, or maybe you have another option and you need to explain it, which one is also better. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Um, we're going to continue again tomorrow. As you can see, we, it's only practice. It's, it's just about practicing and practicing in order to get better. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. See, See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.